Okay, in this video we're going to look at the Build an Atom FET simulation. So when you first open up, it looks like this. You get to do just atoms. You get to play along with the actual way that we write the symbols, or you can play some games. So we're going to start by clicking on the atom. Now you'll note there's a periodic table over here. There's this thing called net charge here, which is important to turn on. This is going to tell us if we have a negative or a positive, or what we're mostly after is a neutral atom. You also want to turn on the mass number here. The other thing I like to turn on is the stable and unstable button down the bottom here that tells us whether or not we're dealing with a stable or an unstable atom. So let's go ahead and put in a proton. Now it's trying straight away telling us that this is hydrogen and that it's stable. It's also telling me here that this is an iron. Then over here it comes up and says that we've got hydrogen and a plus one charge. Now if we throw in another proton, remembering that the more each proton takes you to a different element. So two protons, we move to helium. Now unstable, still an ion because we don't have any electrons in. Throw in another proton, we've moved to lithium. Throw in another proton, we've moved to beryllium. So you should be getting the idea is that every time you increase the number of protons, you move along the periodic table. Now let's go back to hydrogen. Now, we know that hydrogen's mass is 1 from the periodic table. So you need to go and look at the periodic table, the number on the bottom is 1. That means it has only the one proton, no neutrons, because the mass number is the sum of the protons and neutrons. However, I can put a neutron in, as you can see here, and hydrogen does remain stable with a mass number of 2. This is an isotope, and you'll do more on these later. The thing we want to do, though, is create an actual atom, not an ion. So we need to put in some electrons. So let's put in an electron now. I'm just going to take it here, I'm going to let go, and you watch where it goes. It goes into the first shell. So you have to always fill the first shell before you can fill the second shell. And now up here we're seeing that it's a neutral atom. Atoms are always neutral. They should have the same number of protons as they do electrons. So let's move in another proton. Now this is going to take us to the second element, helium. Now it's telling me we're unstable. Now this periodic table doesn't tell us the mass number, but if you look at your periodic table, you'll know that the mass number of helium is actually 4, not 2 as is shown here. So we need to add in 2 neutrons to take the mass number to 4. Now it's telling us here this is an ion, and that's because helium is number 2 and it requires 2 electrons. Again, I'm going to take it here and try and put it in the outer shell. Nope, you're not allowed to. The middle, the first shell, should I say, can only have two electrons. Let's prove this. We'll put in another proton to take us to lithium. Now, if you look at a periodic table, lithium's mass number is seven. So I'm going to throw in two more neutrons to take the mass number to seven. Lithium is the third element in the periodic table, which means it needs three electrons. So I'm going to pick up an electron and I'm going to try and put it into the first shell. No, it won't let us. That's because the first shell can only have two electrons. The second shell can have eight electrons, and that's the number across the row or period in the periodic table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first shell is the first row in the periodic table, and there's only two elements here, so only two electrons. The second shell is the second row of the periodic table, and it has eight elements, and therefore can have eight electrons. I hope you have a good time playing with this simulation for your work. Thanks for watching.